All right, today I've got a dead short in uh, the Can-Am. When you switch the key on, I have fuel pump. The actuators on the throttle body function, but nothing else functions. Uh, several things known to cause this issue, uh, one of them actually being your battery. Uh, second one being a loose connection third one being a dead short all right I know I have a dead short so when I test this 7.5 it's f4 when I test this fuse it's blown now if I put a good one in there then uh, as soon as I switch the key on I'll blow that fuse Having done this several times already, I'm not going to switch the key on and blow the fuse. What I'm going to do instead is trace the short. And the way you trace the short is you remove all of the plugs on your bike. Alright, the fuse is replaced. And we now have HUD lights. Alright, you... Uh, when plugging and, and uh, unplugging all of these, you're going to have to leave this plug right here connected. This is the plug that comes to your kill switch, which will kill all the power to your bike. So uh, it's going to have to be remain in there. If it blows a fuse at that point, then uh, you know that's where your issue is. Now, I'm going to put these back together, but uh, anytime you are working with your bike, you always need to go back with dielectric grease. Prevents uh, water and moisture from getting into your connections. Uh, helps keep a good connection in it and uh, keep, prevents it from corroding. So uh, I'm going to begin putting all these plugs back in one at a time with the key on until I blow the fuse. That's going to give me the circuit in which the uh, bare wire or whatever is causing the dead short. Alright, so uh, I'm going to begin plugging them back in. When I find it, uh, we will proceed from there. Alright, I found the issue. And it is right here. This is what they term as a speed sensor. As you can tell, it goes into the transmission right at the rear output shaft. I have already purchased a new one. This has one bolt that holds it in. And uh, here's the new one. Replacement, it just pops right out of there. There's an O-ring. You're gonna wanna put a little bit of uh, grease or oil on that O-ring before you slide that in so that you don't pinch it or or uh, tear the o-ring in any way also uh, on this end as I've said before uh, a little bit of dielectric grease goes a long ways kind of hard to tell but uh, as you can see the dielectric grease on there now this just snaps right into here so uh, I'm gonna snap it back in and uh, we're gonna turn the key on and see if it stays lit up We have HUD, we have lights. All right, there are many ways to uh, trace out a short, but this is probably one of the easiest ones unless you have the special equipment required. Once I realized that I had a dead short, unplug everything and slowly plug them back in one at a time until you get it back up and running. 